Today's video is about array functions in Microsoft Excel. Array functions are how we solve a very specific type of problem. And if you've been watching my videos up until now, you know the problem that I solved earlier. I'm just trying to break this down into multiple sections for you. So already we've talked about being able to nest multiple functions together. We've got four different videos about nested functions. And now we're going to talk about array functions, which is how you put braces around the outside of the function and why you would put array. Uh, these braces around the functions. So let's go ahead and take a look at a normal function before we do the array functions and then compare and contrast what they're actually going to try to accomplish. So if you had a table like this one, a standard way of using functions would be to go in, uh, multiply the price times the quantity, so b4 times c4, and then once you had the first one calculated, you'd then autofill down so that you could calculate the other two. And so at this point, we've got the first row, the second row, and the third row all calculated. We go down to the bottom of that column for the total price, and we do a sum function telling it to add up all three of those cells. Now the problem with doing this, and it's not really a problem, but you could see where you might want to do something different, is that now you've got this function in four different cells. You've got the first multiplication, the second multiplication, the third multiplication, and then a sum at the end when you could just do the whole thing like this. And the only thing you don't know how to do in there is just the braces around the outside edges. So let's see what those braces are there for. In a normal set of functions like we just discussed, if you had a set of cells like these and you wanted to do the multiplication of the first ones times uh, the multiplication of the second and then the multiplication of the third and add those together, you do the multiplication of the first row and then the second row and then the third row. And these would all be singular references. You'd be referencing 35 and you'd be referencing 14. And so these references are what we call cell references. By contrast, if you wanted to go ahead and put this all in one cell at the same time, you need to find a way to tell Excel, hey, go ahead and take the entire left-hand column and multiply it by the entire right-hand column. Take the first one and multiply it by the second, and the second and multiply it by the, the one on the right, and then the third and multiply it by the one on the right. These are what are called array references because we've got an array of cells on the left, an array of cells on the right, and we go through first ones and then second ones and then third ones ones and we tell Excel to calculate the whole thing for us. So the exact same calculation that we did before but with only one cell would be to use control shift enter to create an array function. So we do a sum function and we take the left hand array, that column of prices over on the left, B4 through B6, and then we put it in an asterisk. In between those, uh, so then we have C4 uh, through C6 on the right hand side. And so this gives us our calculation if we hit Control Shift Enter. Control Shift Enter puts the curly braces around the whole thing, and you can see that the whole thing happens in one cell. These are called CSE functions or Control Shift Enter functions or array functions. And all it means is you take a normal function like this and put array function brackets around the outside. Let's see this done another time. So if we had a normal match function, a match function says look for this one cell's content in all these other cells, C2 in A6 through A58. Let's see it in action. Here we've got a match function. We know that we want to look for the sale ID 100674, so that's C2. And we know we want to look for it over there in that left-hand column. So we go ahead and highlight from A6 all the way down to A58. And the last part of a match function is simply the zero for an exact match instead of close enough matches. And this is a typical function. It does the job exactly the way it was designed to. It is not an array function. It's looking for one cell's contents and all those other cells. Typical function. Now by contrast, if you had a bunch of customer names and a bunch of products and you wanted to look for a specific customer name and a specific product sort of tacked together, we'd need to take the array of items on the left and concatenate them with the array of items on the right so that we could get a full search for that combination. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a simple match function just like we did before, equal sign match. But instead of just looking for C2, we're going to look for B2 ampersand C2. So we're going to concatenate Chris Technologies with the productivity widget. 
Now the problem is that first, before it does the match function, it's got to concatenate all those customer names in the left-hand column, that column over there on the left, with all of the different products that we're selling in the column over on the right. So we take the column on the left, B, what is it, B4, B6 through B58, and concatenate that with the ampersand, with E6 through E58. And because we want it to first concatenate the first item on the left with the first item on the le uh, right, and then the second item on the left with the second item on the right, and the third item on the left with the third item on the right, we use Control-Shift-Enter to make ourselves an array function. Control-Shift-Enter puts the braces around the outside edges and makes it go through one item at a time and concatenate the uh, array on the left with the array on the right. So now Chris Technologies productivity widget is in the 24th row of the table and sure enough right down here Chris Technologies productivity widget is in the 24th row of the table. And that is what an array function does for you. Have a wonderful day and be wonderful at what you do.